Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here with another Binding of Isaac Community Remix Mod Showcase video. This one's going to be all about transformations. Yes, plural, there's actually more than one transformation in the Community Remix Mod. And as some of you guys may have guessed from a previous video where I showed off some new Tammy items that you could get, Tammy is one of the transformations. And transforming into Tammy works in a very similar way to transforming into Guppy, where you just have to get the three Tammy items. Uh, one of them being Tammy's head, which was obviously already in the game. The other being this new item here, this is Tammy's Paw, and when you use this, what it does is it consumes one of your red hearts, and it functions pretty much like the box where you get a bunch of consumable items, you get a trinket, um, a key, a card, a pill, a heart, and a coin and a bomb. Let's see what we got here. The lovers, and uh, I'll take this pill for fun. Lots of balls of steel, great. And then also, um, you have to pick up Tammy's Tail as well, and what Tammy's Tail does is it, um, it just increases the chance of double red hearts appearing, which is a new consumable item found in the Binding of Isaac Community Remix mod. So I should be able to transform into Tammy right on this screen. Here you go, here it is here. And what happens when you transform into Tammy is you get a 1.5 tier delay decrease, uh, and that does stack with cancer, and you also have a chance to fire in 12 different directions. Let's go into a room and uh, kill a couple enemies. I believe the chance to fire in all 12 directions is a one in eight chance. That's just kind of uh, based on extensive testing. I'm not 100% on that, but uh, that does make sense because that would be the exact same amount as um, Loki's horns is a one in eight chance to fire in all four directions. So this is how it works here. This actually stacks with cancer. So if you were to get this and cancer, your tier delay uh, would be really, really low, actually. Um, it's not quite as powerful as, you know, having kamikaze flies that do double your damage every time you hit an enemy with one of your tiers, uh, but it's still really nice. It gives you flight, as you can see, um, and the tier delay is actually really, really good. As you get, like, other uh, active and passive items and stuff, the, um, the visual changes will still be applied to you, which I think is pretty cool. So there is another transformation. Before I show it to you, I'm going to do a cut, and I'm going to do some post-commentary. I'm going to show off the, uh, the different fire rates uh, between not having Tammy, getting Tammy, and, and getting Cancer, just so you can kind of see the difference between the different tier delays. So I will see you on the other side. Okay, so here we are with the base tier delay, Tammy tier delay, Cancer tier delay, and Cancer is Tammy tier delay. And uh, you can see that Cancer and Tammy do stack. One thing I noticed is that Tammy and Cancer are actually completely the exact same with their tier delays. I thought they were going to be a little different because Platinum God says that Cancer's tier delay is 2. And Old Bob had informed me that Tammy's tier delay was 1.5. Um, so I'm not sure if they're both 1.5 or if they're both 2, but I can confirm that they are both the exact same tier delay. Just a quick FYI for those that don't know, a tier delay decrease is a little different than a fire rate or a tier is up. It's a little complicated and I don't fully understand it myself, but I'm pretty sure a tier delay decrease is actually better in that it breaks the regular fire rate cap. So you can actually end up having a much higher fire rate with a tier delay decrease than you would with just getting a lot of tiers ups. Naturally, you want the tiers ups as well, but uh, let's move on to the next transformation. All right, so I'm back and I'm Loki. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Look how cute he is. Look at the way he moves. Isn't that adorable? So you're probably wondering, how do I become Loki? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Actually, I am going to tell you, but not till the end of the video because I don't want to spoil it. This mod comes out in like a week or two and uh, you can become Loki by getting two items that already existed in the game even before the mod, but I don't want to tell you what they are because I think it would be a lot more exciting for you to, you know, play the game and just kind of become Loki on yourself and, and be surprised. That said, if you do want to find out, just wait till the end of the video and I will spoil it then. But in the meantime, I will just spoil what Loki looks like and what Loki does. So this is him. You can see, once again, transforming into Loki does give you flight as with the other transformations. And what Loki does is you shoot in all four directions all of the time. Uh, and that's it, but that's really all you need because that is a pretty substantial increase. Let's kill this champion. Let's go, um, let's go check out our, uh, ooh, we could reroll that. But you know what? There's no need because I'm just showing off this transformation. And uh, let's go fight the boss. So yeah, you can probably deduce, um, actually, at least what one of the two items that you need are to become Loki. Um, if you know, you know, a little bit about the game and how it works. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, this is Loki. Uh, he looks really good. Once again, um, any pickups that you get that have any kind of visual change to you will actually affect Loki himself. In fact, after I kill this boss, I'm going to go into the item room and reroll it, and maybe we can actually pick up an item that, uh, that gives you some kind of a change. I think the quarter might. Um, I think every item might actually have some kind of a visual change, but I don't know specifically that the quarter does, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, and Cube of Meat is about to die. Or, uh, excuse me, not Cube of Meat. By the way, this is an eternal slash soul heart, which gives you a piece of an eternal heart and a half of a soul heart. 
So let's come down here and re-roll, and uh, we get scapular. Well, let's pick it up anyway. We'll still get the scapular glow, as you can see. So, yeah, this is Loki. He f shoots in all four directions all the time. Um, other than that, um, he doesn't get any damage ups or anything like that. But shooting in all four directions is pretty powerful. And being able to fly, once again, is also very powerful. So, you know what I'm going to do? This is the only other transformation in the game, this and Tammy. So that's all of them. But let's see what happens if I become Tammy on top of being Loki. I just need to give myself the... Um, I just need to give myself Tammy's head. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> spoiler, it was the mark. Uh, but I won't tell you what the second item is. It's two, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it out actually. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So Tammy's head, Tammy's tail, let's grab Tammy's paw. And now let's grab Tammy's head again and that should make the transformation complete. And now we are Tammy slash Loki. So let's go in this room, uh, shoot. Well, we now shoot in all four directions all the time we have the tier delay decrease that we get from becoming tammy on top of we also have a chance to shoot in all 12 directions so so this is obviously going to be pretty powerful and it is possible to achieve both of these uh transformations in the game but let's go ahead and become guppy on top of this just because it's going to be a lot of fun all right so now we're part guppy part tammy part loki and uh I'm going to I'm going to get a couple kills like this just because it's going to completely destroy absolutely everything. You can see I'm getting some pretty severe slowdown. Um I don't know why, but whenever I run spider mod or this mod as opposed to just running regular Isaac, it uh it goes a lot slower and I can't have too much going on on screen otherwise um I get some pretty intense slowdown as you can see here. So as you can see uh transforming into all three of these makes you pretty powerful. We'll go ahead and kill Duke of Flies and then I'll go ahead and end it there. And we have melted him in a matter of seconds. Okay, cool. Well, let's check out our deal with the devil. Well, there we go. All right, so that's going to do it for this Binding of Isaac Community Remix Mod Showcase video. Big ups to Old Bob and Lucanator and everybody else that's working on this mod. They're doing a fantastic job. Old Bob has said it should be out in a week or two. So uh, definitely keep your eyes peeled for it. And uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, you can check out my channel. I have showed off some of the other items in the past. And I'll definitely, there's a couple more things that I still haven't showed off. And I'm going to get to them as well. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. My name's Vicarious Viking. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later. Oh, and uh, the other item that you need to become Loki is Loki's horns. So Loki's horns in the mark. All right, take care. Bye-bye.